Do you want to know why nobody uses activities? It's because you just can't see them. You make one on a document and unless you check proactively, there's no way to see them and no way to know if there's one on the document. So today I'm gonna to be talking about ways that you can use B1UP to customize your SAP Business One forms in order to see the activities and to get more out of them. My name is Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra and I do weekly videos on SAP Business One topics. You can check out battleshipcobra.com for my crystal reports for SAP Business One course and my SQL for SAP Business One course. So as mentioned, let's jump into the demo system and see what I've cooked up. So by default, I used to do just this one down here, related activities. So you can see related activities two. So this would just be a count and as you moved through the documents, it would give you the count there. And then say on the last one, it had two, you'd know that there were two activities or two notes on this particular PO and you could drill into it. So um, we thought of some other ideas here. I thought of some other ideas and we'll have related activities, a tab. This was something that Rasmus mentioned in a post on LinkedIn. And I thought it was a great idea and actually pretty easy to get done. So was, this is actually even easier than my related activities uh, little field here and it gives you more information and you can always drill into the particular activity right away but you can see the details pretty easily here um, just having this information. So it's really useful and you can be able to see related activities too. Boom, there's two notes, okay? So this fundamentally is just an SQL report tab. So right click, B1 usability package, edit item placement, tabs, and then I have a custom SQL report tab here using a particular universal function. I am going to put that universal function in the description below for download, just so you guys can easily recreate this. So all you need to do is add an item placement and then add, for, well first add this universal function, you import it, okay? Import it from your desktop to add it as a universal function, this should function exactly how it needs to. Then just go to your item placement tool and add it as a custom SQL report universal function. So you can see tab left, pixels, 300, et cetera. That's it. And then make sure, oh, make sure that you add from here, show number of records on the tab. And that will be basically all that you need to do. Then make sure you update your item placement and then it'll work fine. This, uh, my SQL report will do the heavy lifting with this, with the golden arrows. And then immediately you have this, you'd have to do it for all the documents you wanted to, but you, so you'd have to repeat it a couple times, but it adds so much value, I think that it's really worth it. Couple of other little things I wanted to do, right click, and you can see refresh related activities, which will refresh this tab. Then I added a button here, just for sake of example, new activity, click that, and it's a macro that will add an activity and then prompt you here. I could say PO status update. I put the purchase order number in there. You can put uh, content in here, other details, and it'll already be linked to this particular PO that I've done. So you can automate this any way you want. This is very, very straightforward. You could even prompt yourself for a variable of what you wanna say and have it fill out the rest for you. Um, but this, you would do this and then just push add and it would add a new one to this document. The last thing I wanted to show was this activities dashboard I made. Activities. So this is a little dashboard here that I just made it really simply, but it shows you related activities and uses the methodology, the mechanism of the dashboards in order to output a list of activities. You could add filters in here, you can refresh it, you can see all these various details here that you need to see. So you can see them in the details up here and then you can uh, click through to output more of the details or double click to open the original activity. So this is just an idea of how you can use various functions from the B1 up, uh, from the B1 up setup. And this, this activities is all it is is a trigger so I have B1 validation configuration, then I say activities dashboard. And all that I do is when you click that particular button, it just launches this dashboard here. 
And that's it. So I'm going to include the dashboard. I will include, I'll include the uh, universal function. You can see here that it's linked to the doc num. You should be able to figure out how to link this up. So it has object ID, boy table, plus the object type. So this will actually go through and this should work for all your different document types exactly how you see this here. So I'll include all the B1 up code there, but that will give you some ideas on how to get more out of your activities. Out of the box SAP does not really enable you to store notes like that. And with B1UP, you would easily be able to add any of those customizations or combinations of customizations in order to maximize your use out of the activities and track activities or notes to particular objects or sorry, particular documents. I didn't do anything for business partners, but you can use the methodology and the ideas in order to build your own for business partners or any other form in the system that you can add activities to. Thank you very much for watching my video. I produce new videos every week, Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and turn the notification bell on if you don't come to YouTube all the time. It'll send you an email when I make a new video, and that way you don't have to come back and check proactively. It'll just email you whenever I produce a video. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. <laughs>